Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon to all of you. Children, we are going through chapter number two in our uh, Islamic studies book and the name of the chapter is Prayer in Islam. In the last two videos, uh, the last two day recordings, we have already learned about why salah or prayer is important in Islam and what are the five important salahs and what are their timings and how many rakat do they constitute of. This is what we have done till now. Today we will be talking about the Salat al jama or which is called as the congregational prayer or which we call as namaz which we offer in Jamaat. It is important for all Muslims to recite all the Fard namaz which we have in the form of Salat jama. The Sawab which are for Salat jama is several thousand times more than the Salah that we offer individually. There are certain prayers which must be offered in congregation while as there are many prayers which can be offered individually also. Moreover, it is very important for us to know that these congregation prayers help us to grow closer to each other. We also get to know each other other better and whenever we are in the company of those people who have the right beliefs and who believe in Islam it makes us grow more closer to Islam and when we meet such people we share our religious things with them and we also get knowledge from them so it is very important for us to know which are the congregation prayers and why are these congregation prayers so important for us. First of all, there are few conditions for performing these uh, Salat al Jama. First of all, the Imam, who is the the Imam of the congregation prayer, he must have reached the age of maturity and should thus be responsible for performing the Islamic duty. And he should recite the Salah correctly. It is very important. There should be no curtain or barrier or something between Imam and the Jamaat so that Jamaat is able to see the Imam but if the Imam is a woman the curtain and the like are permissible. The place where the Imam stands it should be higher than the place where the Jamaat stands. Then there are few percepts also which are concerning all, all uh, the, the Jamaat Namaz that we this uh, the Jamaat must recite all parts of the Salat himself, himself except the Surah Al-Hamd and another Rakat after it. But then we also have to remember that we have to follow the Imam in whatever he is reciting. And there are few uh, congregation prayers that I will be discussing next time in detail. I will just give you the names of them. For example, the Fard prayers every day, they must be prayed in congregation. The Friday prayers are there, the Wajib prayers, Tarabi prayers, then Salah Janaza, then prayer for rain maybe, and then there are few other prayers also which are very important for all of us to offer only in congregation. Thank you so much everyone. Have a nice day.